When designing our treetop bridge, the team took pronounced initiative into identifying the chief objectives we aimed to incorporate. We wanted to create a bridge that offered a comfortable yet immersive experience, a design that ticked the boxes across a variation of criteria. A fundamental aspect in the preliminary stages of the project was substantially based around observing a variation of current designs and natural inspiration. This allowed us to identify ways in which existing structures considered the economic, environmental and social influences we intended to embody within our design. Design 1 was the result of open brainstorming, taking inspiration from existing designs as well as nat the natural form and structural aesthetics of a tree. The design objectives and constraints were kept front of mind during the concept process and guided the team's decisions. The concept performed well according to the majority of design constraints. The structural analysis from Multiframe showed that the deflection and the stress were within the allowable magnitudes. Once the general concept was hatched out, a preliminary 3D model was produced. The main idea behind Design 2 was to see how a treetop bridge walk would behave as a complete design, providing context on how easy it would be to construct multiple spans together for an overall design, as well as highlighting any possible weak points in the connections was essential. We developed a concept map and researched possible locations for the treetop walk in order to define possible paths and directions for the walkway to follow. Incorporating these design elements such as connection points between existing trusses and how the whole structure is supported was also considered. The conceptualization of Bridge Design 3 was grounded by the ideology of a basic trust design with integrated originality and innovation. The design aimed to incorporate features of environmental sustainability and preservation. The bridge's top cord bracing members introduced opportunity for potential sheltering or green roof infrastructure. The design also optimised mostly lightweight material to minimise environmental disturbance during construction and transportation. Each of the three concept designs presented had considerable advantages relative to the various constraints and objectives. The key structural performance values for each design can be seen in the first table and were used to inform the results of the decision evaluation matrix. It was found that design one presented as the best option of the suggested designs. The first iteration at concept stage of this design overperformed structurally with deflections of under 3 mm and very low stresses. We then began the optimization process and weight reduction until the bridge was as light as possible while still maintaining design objectives and a factor of safety of 2. As a team we considered improvements that could be made to our design. Aesthetic flow and feel was considered. This treetop walkway is intended to be an immersive experience that aims at connecting people with nature in a unique way. Design elements that promote the connection and interaction with nature have been considered highly beneficial. Elements such as bird boxes, bird baths, and the incorporation of natural vegetation within the structure. Other improvements that were considered by the team were constructability, manufacturing costs, and ways of increasing design life, such as having the ability to easily change structural elements whilst in situ. For the purposes of highlighting the different design elements that led to this being considered the optimal design of the ones we considered, the team has put together an AutoCAD model and constructed an animated 3D walkthrough. So in this, you can see that when we put together the frame, we took inspiration from the surroundings and we decided to follow the structural path of a tree um, and minimise the sharp angles when we were putting it together. We then thought about putting the truss underneath the deck and so as not to obstruct the view from anyone who was walking across the bridge. Um, we then considered the, the construction and fabrication of it and we thought about using modular elements to break the truss up into smaller pieces so that when it's actually constructed it can be brought to site easier with less heavy equipment and can be built a little bit faster, there's less error when you're constructing it and again the construction process will be a little bit faster. We thought about the different materials that we're going to use in the process and ultimately looked for existing structures for inspiration here. 
steel seems to be the, the primary component for all the structural elements, and then timber is obviously used for aesthetics. So we followed this, but we thought about using galvanized steel instead. We then considered the different jointing and section types, and these are obviously rele relevant to each individual member and, and where it's located in the structure. Thank you.